Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to, to WLC Kids Online. My name is Sarah, and as always, I am so excited to be back with you for another day. We are continuing on in our relationship series, and uh, today's word is respect. Now, your, your parents, or let's be honest, probably your grandparents by this point, they may say, uh, sing a song that goes like R-E-S-P-E-C-T but it sounds better than that, right? Uh, but, but that's our word for today. And so respect means that, that we will listen to and we will be nice to, to people um, who may have different opinions than us, who may uh, do things a little different than us. And our Bible story today is all about uh, uh, David and Saul and how David needed to respect Saul, even though Saul did some things that David didn't like. So let's check out our Bible story to see uh, what we've got in store for us today. Stories of the Bible, David and Saul. This is David. Hey. David was a shepherd who lived in Israel. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul was strong and tall and looked like everything a king should be. But Saul did not follow God like he was supposed to. And for that reason, God chose to take the kingdom from Saul's family and give it to David's. David became a great warrior. Arr! And everyone in the kingdom loved David. Huh? This made Saul jealous, and Saul hated David because he thought he would try to kill him and take the throne from his family. So Saul wanted to kill David. Whoa! Saul hunted David, but he couldn't catch him. One day, Saul heard that David was in the wilderness of En Gedi. So Saul gathered 3,000 of his skilled fighters and went to find and kill David. During Saul's search for David, he went in a cave to relieve himself. Well, this very cave was the one where David and his men were hiding. And when David's men saw that Saul was unaware that David was there and unable to defend himself, they said, Now's your chance, David. This is God telling you that he will give you your enemy to do with as you wish. So David crept forward and cut off a piece of Saul's robe. But then David began to think that it was not right for him to take Saul's life. For no matter how much hardship and difficulty Saul had caused him, it was still not right for him to hurt the one who God had placed over Israel. So David told his men to back off, and he did not let them kill King Saul. They waited until after Saul had left the cave. And then David ran out of the cave and shouted after Saul, My king! Why do you listen to people who say I am trying to harm you? Look, I cut it off, but I didn't kill you. This proves that I am not trying to harm you and that I have not sinned against you, even though you've been hunting me. David went on to promise that he would never harm Saul. David said that God would be the one to protect David and to rescue him from Saul's power. Saul said, Is that really you, David? And he began to cry. Saul said, you are a better man than I. You have been amazingly kind to me today, for when God put me in a place where you could have killed me, you didn't do it. Who else would have done this? And now I realize that you are surely going to be king, and the kingdom of Israel will flourish under your rule. But promise me that when that happens, you will not kill my family. So David promised that he would not hurt Saul's family, and they left each other in peace. Now Saul continued to cause difficulty in David's life. But David kept his promise and in time, David did become king of Israel. 
David was dearly loved by God, and Israel did flourish under his rule because David did everything that God wanted him to do, and he was a man after God's own heart. This is Linguini's Pizza of the Day with Pastor Steve. Ciao, I'm Linguini. And I'm Pastor Steve. Welcome to my pizzeria. Today, we are going to be making a very special pizza. But first, Pastor Steve, you must give me a word. Well, if you need a word, why don't I just give you the word of the day? Perfecto. What is it? Respect. Got it. Now you tell us what that means, and I will make the pizza. All right. Well, great. So to respect someone means to honor them and to treat them well. Uh. Oh, I'm going to be needing that. There you go. Grazie. So, you are talking about respecting people. Right. Now, you know what? If this is all ready to go, why don't I put that in the oven for you? Ah, thank you. You're welcome. So, God wants us to respect and honor the leaders that he's put in our lives. People like our parents, teachers, and even our leaders at church. Oh, I see. And we need to treat them all with respect and not to throw pepperonis in the face. Right. That was an accident, you know. Oh, I know, it's okay. I just want you to know that I have a respect for you very much. Well, thank you so much, Linguini. And we need to always respect others. You see, Jesus said that we're supposed to do to other people the things that we want them to do to us. So just like you want to be respected, and like you want to be respected, we should respect others. The pizza! The pizza's ready! <laughs> All right. It's gonna be good. Let's take a look. Whoa! Surprise! <laughs> it's a dessert to pizza! That looks and sounds delicious. And look, it has our word of the day, respect. Of course! Now we can remember to respect each other. We will see you next time, my friends. Adios! Love you guys. Bye. See ya. Okay, so Pastor Steve said something to Linguini that I think like all of us need reminders of, like all the time. Um, we see in the New Testament that, that we are called to treat others as we would want to be treated. And, and even in, in Luke, uh, it talks about how we should not only pray for those who love us, but we should maybe also pray for those who don't love us too. And so it's hard to be nice to people who maybe aren't nice to us, but, but God calls us to respect each other. Um, now, I, I saw the pizza. I told myself I wasn't going to get, get hungry this time, but I just, shoot. Oh, is that, is that the pizza? It is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, let's see, let's see what the, the pizza looks like today. Ah, oh, look at that. It says respect. So we should remember that we should always respect the people in our lives, um, the, the people that it's easy to respect, but also the people that it's a little hard to respect too. Now I'm sure you're wondering, okay, Miss Sarah, but how, how do I, I do that? Um, and, and so first, you can talk to God about it. Because remember, we can go to God with anything and everything. And, and so you can, you can talk to, to God about it, and then maybe talk to some trusted adults in your life as well uh, to figure out how to respect those in our world. So I am going to pray for us, and then we are going to sing a song together. And then that is all I have for you, my friends. So I want you to show me what prayer looks like. We've got our hands folded, our heads are bowed, and we are ready to talk to God, and I will pray for us. Dear God, uh, thank you uh, for loving us. And thank you for showing us how to live. Remind us that we should respect the people in our lives, that, that if people are doing things that we don't like, um, that, that we can still respect them um, because you have called us to, to treat others the same way that we want to be treated. Well, we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. So let's stand up on our feet and let's sing this song together. And I will see you next week. Bye, friends.
This song is called I Know I Belong. It's about how when we belong in God's family, He gives us great power to do amazing things. So we're gonna start out by singing, your love, your love is worth living for. Let's sing it out together. Here we go. Your love, your love is worth living for. Your grace paid my way. Your mercy gives me the power to forgive like you forget. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. I know you're on my side. You send me out to be a witness with power from on high. Sing, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. Let's sing that out again. I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong. All right, you guys, sing out, I know I belong. I know I belong, I know I belong to you. And one more time, as loud as you can. I know I belong. I'll stand, I'll stand when it's hard, Lord. So let's all stomp our feet together. You guys ready? Here we go. I know I belong. I know I belong. I know I belong to you. And one more time, sing it out. I know I belong. I know I belong. I know I belong to you. Good job, you guys, singing that song.